News. This is First Morning Weather. And welcome back, everyone. Well, the heat is on today. We are looking at temperatures in the 80s and lower 90s across the 20 years. Definitely the day to cool off near Watkins Glen. Lots of sunshine. And again, these clear skies are likely to persist into the overnight hours. So if you are heading out there to enjoy your Sunday evening, again, it is a hot one out there. Temperatures are in the 80s and lower 90s, 91 in Corning, 88. In Elmira, about 86 in Mansfield and about 83 in Ithaca. So it's mostly clear overhead and right now it is mostly clear across much of Pennsylvania and New York. However, for our friends in New England, a wave of low pressure is causing some active weather. Now, we are tracking a cold front which will bring some severe weather on Monday. That cold front is pushing through southeastern Canada and it could bring some severe weather tomorrow afternoon. Right here is Tropical Storm Debbie. Debbie is pounding the west coast of Florida with heavy rains, storm surge, and gusty winds. Now, Debbie is moving over some very warm water. Ocean temperatures are in the 80s and even some lower 90s. So definitely a lot of fuel to work with. And this is one reason why Debbie is expected to strengthen into a hurricane by to tomorrow afternoon. Right now, Debbie has winds of 65 miles per hour pressure reading near 992 millibars. And again, by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon, we expect Debbie to strengthen into a hurricane with winds of at least 85 miles per hour. Now, this is the big story of the week as Debbie slowly moves over the southeast. A lot of rain is in the forecast. Through Wednesday, there's the potential for up to 10 inches of rain across the Florida Big, Big Ben and even into South Carolina. But beyond Wednesday, there is the potential for over two feet of rain through Friday in some of these locations. So hopefully everybody's prepared for this big rain maker. In our neck of the woods, severe weather is likely to return to our area Monday. There is the potential for damaging winds and large hail. So let's time out these storms. Mostly clear tonight as we fast forward into tomorrow. We're going to start the day with partly sunny skies tomorrow afternoon around 2 p.m. This is when those storms could push through our region. And again, there is the potential for some damaging winds and large hail as these storms push through. And also heavy rain. Given the rains we had the last few days, localized flooding is definitely possible tomorrow afternoon as these thunderstorms work their way into our area. So today we forecasted 90 degrees, but our actual high was about 88. So 88 for a high tomorrow, scattered thunderstorms, showers remaining in the forecast on Tuesday, but look at that cool down from 88 on Monday to 77 on Tuesday and remaining in the 70s for much of this week.